All right, here we go. Mr. Gatekeeper here. And uh, this, this is a, a big test prototype video. Because uh, this Christmas I was blessed enough to uh, be blessed with some new, new equipment from a uh, very good friend of mine, Mr. Jeff Robodine, which uh, has has heavily invested in uh, what I do since the, the day that I met him, honestly. And uh, it isn't like he invests loads of cash or anything like that. He's, he's nice enough to where when he sees that I'm in need of something, that could help make these videos better for y'all. He'll 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 try to help me out if he can. So big 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 shout out to Mr. Jeff Robodine for this. So right now I am using four devices. I'm using my phone that I normally record on to record my voice. I'm using the newest edition, a digital camera, which you can see right here in my POV. Which is a really cool, really cool camera. And uh, he also hooked me up with this mount right here, which is really cool. I've always kind of wondered how they set all those mounts up and stuff. This thing is like a universal mount that I could mount up on the ceiling if I had rafters or whatever. But I actually put them both together like this, to try to hold, like to do a kind of an overhead view at what I'm working on. So... This is something I've been wanting to do for a while, and, and I've been so busy trying to catch up on work, I haven't been able to look into all that stuff. But one of my main focuses for 2024 is to make my channel more easy on your eyes. Let's just put it that way. More easy on your eyes. So no more getting all drunk, watching my videos, falling all over the place, da 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 And I also have a pretty cool... Uh, music artist that has been nice enough to make me a little uh i guess you can say a gatekeeper pro promotional song which i've been looking forward to uh putting on one of my uh, videos but the problem is all of my videos that i've really been releasing has already been uploaded to my channel unless it's videos like this and i wasn't wanting to use uh that for a, a video like this a, a transistor video so that will be coming too because I'm about to be uh, uh, making a new video of a build I'm finishing up. But anyway, to get all past all that, we got a new brick of HG. Yes, sir. Now, when I ran this sale during Christmas, I ran out of all of my miscellaneous transistors. I call miscellaneous, the ones that don't sell as much, like 2290s, uh, 1446s, 454s, like that. I ran out of them pretty quickly. So, and also ran out of 2879Cs very quickly. So, a couple of people agreed to either get a partial shipment to them, like if they ordered different multiple transistors, like let's say they ordered some standard 2879s and Cs, and I didn't have the uh, C's at the time. I did a partial shipment or they just waited on me for this package to get here right here. It was delayed. You know, it was, it was I ordered it literally a day before, um, I think December 29th, I believe, is when I ordered it. Or maybe a couple days before that. I can't quite remember. But anyway, it did take a second for it to get here and it's here. And this right here will restock me completely on finals radio finals and everything so i'm completely restocked and uh, i've only got i think i got like maybe six orders where people have been hanging in there with me which that's the first time i've done that i usually don't take people's payments unless i have the actual transistors on hand but this was a different type of situation because uh i wanted people to be able to get locked in on the discounted prices i was offering them for and plus, I knew that uh, it wouldn't be too, too long for the new to get here. But I'll only do that during times like that. Other than that, if you ever hit me up and I don't have transistors on hand, 
what I normally would do is say, hey, if you're willing to wait on me, wait until the transistors get here, I'll give you a little discount. And that's my way of saying, hey, I should have these transistors on hand no matter who hits me up. So it's kind of like a little way of saying, since I don't, I'm going to hook you up with a little discount. <laughs> huh. So it looks like they fit the finals and the regular. I like to see how they fit. Ooh, wow. I was about to say, this is heavy. Huh. Wow. Yeah, this is heavy. We got 12166s. 119.69s, 123.12s, 40.22.90s, and 20.25.10s. Now, let's talk about these 25.10s real quick. 2SC 25.10s is a 28-volt transistor, BJT, bipolar junction transistor. And there has been a couple of builders that's played around with them. I personally, myself, hadn't. I know uh, BBI has played around with, with, with uh, Toshiba 2510s. I've noticed a video of that. Yeah, I am restocked on the finals, everybody. <laughs> Goodness gracious, alive. I can see, uh, looks like a couple fell out in here. That happened last time, too. They didn't even tape this. I'm about to get on to them. No big deal. I'll get in there and get my light so I can organize them all. It's a good deal. So, uh, I ain't gonna worry about doing all that on camera. Let me put this to the side. But basically, back to the 2510s, um, my buddy Danny, Big D, one, two, three, has been uh, working on putting a package together up there around the Chicago area. Uh, a base package and it seems to be working pretty well so it looks like he's going to be uh, releasing a new line of the Mowat amps out there now, one thing I have noticed you know is something you got to get used to being double the voltage they can't handle as much drive but that's something people are going to have to get used to so it's a little easier to blow them if you drive them too hard but we've had this issue already with customers with LD Moss or any 50 volt devices. It's hard to get your mind state out of that drive. You know, we're so used to drive, drive, drive. We need all this drive because the transistors are not efficient. You know, very, 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 very lack of efficiency. So they take more drive to get them going. But once you start getting into higher voltage parts, that does change a little, especially when you get into the, uh, the metal oxide devices. All right, so what do we got going on here? We have ourselves 40 1446s. Shout out to my boy Vinny out there. He's been waiting a while. Uh, not a while, but he's been waiting along with everybody else. Because as soon as he put his order in, I noticed I only had one left. <laughs> so he's been hanging in here with me. And I know he'll be happy to get them in. And uh, we got 80 2879Cs. And I know these are going to go quick. So y'all, if you need some Cs, you might want to hit me up pretty quick. There's only 80. And I've only got like 8 or 9 left from the other. I'll be putting in a uh, order and start strengthening my stock again for the year. I need to get it strengthened up to where if anybody hits me up, I got what you need. That's that to go. I think I'm gonna start saving these. I'm gonna get me one of them uh, sealers so I can reuse these bad boys when I'm shipping uh, static devices uh, where static can harm them. Oh, wow. Look at the HFE on these buttes. On the C's, we have an HFE scope of 80 to 86. You heard that right. You heard that right. The biggest HFE I have seen so far with the C's is an 88. I actually had six of them, and I saved them, and I was going to save them and use them for myself, but some some guy talked me into selling them to, me, uh, to them. But... 
this right here. Wow. Nice. 80 to 86. Goodness gracious alive. So, yeah, I'm about to sit down and go ahead and find Matt Cheese Bad Boys. For all y'all Atlas lovers out there. <laughs> Wow, you got you gotta love that man. HFB in the 80s. Very nice. Now, I still got about 200 or so uh standard 2879s, everybody. If you need some standards. So just shoot me uh shoot me a text. I'm uh I'm done adding all, all the transistors to the website that I have not yet released. What I'm doing now is adding all the parts and I am looking forward to it because it's going to save me so much time for y'all to go to that site and order instead of me doing everything manually through text so I'm looking forward to it it's going to free up a lot of time for me to spend more time on the bench and I've been wanting to turn this area right here into a bench a second bench that's why you can see i've got my bird meters in here you can see that on the camera uh, but it's gonna be a simple simple bench probably just do small repairs maybe small small builds but the problem right now is uh my my son which uh he's getting his learner's license right now he normally stays with his mother on, during the week and i get him on the weekends that's pretty much how we've always done it but their house flooded a couple of weeks ago so he's been staying in this room <laughs> all all week long which is not which has gave me less access to it so i won't be building it you know building a, a, another bench in here anytime soon till they get all that figured out but anyway can't wait to see how this works out with the different cameras uh just kind of test them we'll try to add them together and everything but I am completely, and I mean absolutely completely, restocked. Um, I'm trying to remember, did I order 454s? I should have ordered 454s. I honestly should have. But I still got maybe about 14 to 16 left. But I'm kind of knocking myself in the head for not ordering uh, 40 454s. So no big deal i'll order them with my next order which will be more c's so i still got about 200 standards with the c's here all right i still hadn't made my little video stacking up all these boxes right here kind of just showing everybody uh um it's gonna be mainly a thank you video to everybody i, I was thinking about mixing it in with maybe a little giveaway too but it ain't, it ain't, it, I, I was sitting there thinking about it and I was like, you know, if I make a video like that, it, it's, it's more, it's just, people may look at it like a bragging video, you know, but there's a difference of bragging and kind of jointly thanking the community for, for picking me to buy your transistors from. I mean, it, 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 it don't have anything to do with, with me being the guy that contacted HG in the beginning to help get these transistors for us to use to keep our hobby going. It ain't about that. It's about, because I'm sure if I wouldn't have done it, somebody would have, would have eventually done it. You know, so there, were, there were people already attempting to do it, but they were more out for themselves getting a transistor made with their name on it. And then I just, I just knew, I mean, I just zoomed out and looked at the whole situation. And I just knew if I didn't do that, but just tell them I want to do help in any possible way I can to help their transistor they have at the moment work as good as possible, that they would be more apt to put more time and money into making their transistors better. I mean, when I first talked to HG in the very beginning, I'm going to go back and pull up, pull the emails and, and text messages and all that i painted a very 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 colorful picture of if they did do this and put this time into this of how big of a return of investment roi that they would get and my friends 
<laughs> they got it. They got it. And I let them know all the big players of the game back then, which then the, the, a, lot, a lot, lot of them were contacted by HG after we finally did all the testing. And like, okay, we got a 2879 that's ready to rock and roll. And uh, that was the what we call at the time the 08-8s. So we got the 08-8s and the 08-4s. I'm actually got a 16 pill I'm gonna be finishing up here soon. It's got 08-4s in it, which HG can still make, but there's really ain't a need for it, you know. You had these two transistors, 08-4s, 08-8s, and I just went with my gut. The 08-8s seemed to do a little bit more power with less drive, and that's what I rolled with, and that's what we're using today. We call them the 16-D08s, but that's where the eight is involved with it's got to do with the chipset but that's enough y'all mr gatekeeper out here around the northeast end of big ga baby we're gonna get some packaging done and uh get out there to the bench and get some work done on this 12 banger and i got uh, a couple of guys that's been hanging there with me for a while on some builds and like i said you're gonna start seeing this dwindle down let's see what's next in the line Uh, Mr. Captain Crunch is next in line. And after that, one of these are going to be up, up, up front. But anyway, deuces, 73. And uh, everybody have a safe, 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 safe week. Rest of the week. It's rainy and nasty out here in Georgia, but we still going to keep the spirits high. I'm good and gone. Bye-bye-bye.